Members of the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club today turned up at the New South Wales Supreme Court to fight moves by the police to outlaw their club. It's the first time that the New South Wales police have tried to use the state's new anti-bikey gang laws to ban a specific group. But the police have already hit a stumbling block with the Hells Angels launching a high court challenge. Similar anti-bikey laws are also being challenged in South Australia. John Stewart reports. This morning, the police were quick to write out parking tickets for those who'd left their bikes on the pavement. But inside the New South Wales courts, a far bigger legal battle was underway. The Hells Angels have launched a high court challenge to the New South Wales anti-bikey laws. The basis of the writ is that the Act, it will be argued, undermines the integrity of the Supreme Court and is beyond the power of the legislation in New South Wales. Anti-bikey laws were rushed through the New South Wales Parliament last year after a brawl between bikey gangs at Sydney Airport left one bikey associate dead. The new laws could give police the power to ban Hells Angels members from meeting with each other and place restrictions on where they can work. Bikey groups say the laws are an attack on human rights and could potentially be applied to other groups. The argument raises important matters of principle that affect all people in New South Wales. In South Australia, anti-bikey laws have been used to try and ban members of the Finks Motorcycle Club from meeting. But those laws have also become bogged down in a long legal challenge. We're dealing here with some novel laws, and the first of these was passed in South Australia. It has been struck down by the Supreme Court of that state, and it's currently on appeal to the High Court and has not yet been decided. That does suggest that there's doubts about these laws, and even though the specific flaw that was struck down in South Australia is not found in the New South Wales statute, there is nonetheless another basis upon which they can proceed as they have today in the High Court. The High Court challenge to the New South Wales anti-bikey laws was lodged in the name of senior Hells Angels associate Derek Wanahoe. In 2007, Lateline followed Mr Wanahoe on a Hells Angels bikey ride. Go to the, the local RSL club, the local football club. Within that group of men, you'll probably find someone that's got a criminal record for assault or uh, drugs or break and enter but nobody says that the entire football club or RSL or leagues club is a uh, break and entering uh, drug dealing organisation. The New South Wales Police allege the Hells Angels are involved in serious criminal activity, including drug trafficking. Legal experts say the challenge to the New South Wales anti-bikey laws will be based on police secrecy. It does need to be a new argument, and that argument in this case will be that criminal intelligence is used that is denied to the people most affected. That affects not just natural justice rights, but also the sanctity of the judicial system, and that's a proposition that the High Court at least here, but you certainly wouldn't put strong money on the bikies winning the case. Whichever side wins, the legal dispute is expected to take several years to work its way through the courts. John Stewart, Lateline.